Hey friends, welcome back to the garage. My name's Jim with Philly Fixed. So today we're gonna to take a look inside these new Flex 24 volt batteries. Uh, this is the 2.5 amp hour battery. Uh, there might be differences between this one and some of the larger ones. They also have a five and eight and a 12 amp hour battery. Uh, but this battery is one you're gonna find with a lot of kits. Uh, the four piece kit with the resip the entry-level drill and the entry-level impact comes with two of these batteries. Some of the other single tool kits, such as the turbo mode drill and the multi-mode higher end impact, come with a 5.0 and one of these. So we're gonna crack this bad boy open, we're gonna see what's going on inside and see what we can learn about this new company's uh, battery offering. Okay, so to start off, you're gonna to have to flip the battery over. We've got four screws here. These are T10, uh, center pin torques or Torx with pin screws. Uh, that means a standard T10 Torx bit will not work because they have a little post or pin, a protrusion in the middle of the Torx opening that requires you to use a special security bit. Uh, so I'll put a link to where you can get a set of those bits in the description below. They don't come with your typical bit sets that you find uh, at your big box store. So we have four of these screws to remove. Okay, now that we have those screws removed, let's see if the clamshell comes apart. All right. So that's your, your bottom piece. Uh, it looks like a fiberglass impregnated uh, type of plastic there. You won't be able to see it on the video, but the plastic is stamped PA6GF30, which means it's nylon six impregnated with 30% long strand fiberglass. That information and $5.99 will get you a Big Mac meal at McDonald's. Then we have the battery pack. We've got some nice rubber here uh, on the bottom for impact and shock absorption. See how hard it is to get this apart. Okay. So there's our, our shock absorption mat. Nice, seems like a decent quality rubber there. Uh, we've got the battery, like a plastic battery cradle here. Again, looks to me, ah, look at that. <laughs> I, it was kind of cracked. Uh, maybe it cracked when I pulled the battery pack out. That's, that's not great, but uh, we'll keep moving on here. So, and then our top piece, of course. Now I lost the battery uh, button here, the battery uh, meter button. So we'll try to, we'll put that back in here. Here's your, uh, your spring-loaded battery release button. Uh, you've got three springs here for that. And uh, you can see you have your two primary voltage uh, power contacts there. Uh, you've got quite a bit of copper there. It looks like stranded copper wire uh, right here. And then uh, you've got your terminals here. So these are, you can see these move a little bit. And then in the middle here is what I assume are the two uh, data terminals for, for your uh, communication between the sensorless brushless motor and this battery. These are, I don't know if you're gonna be able to read it on the camera, but these are Samsung uh, and they're 18650 cells. So they are not 21700 cells. So they are INR 18650-25R. Uh, so I will look up and see what the um, amperage rating is on these cells. But there's one, two, three, four, five, six of them. So six. 18650 cells. All right, let's get back to this other side and see if we can get any insight uh, into what's going on. Okay, so I have to separate these contacts from the side of the battery. If I wanted to be really elegant about this, I would, you know, grab a soldering gun or something or a desolder station to uh, break these little tack solders onto the battery contacts, but ain't nobody got time for that. So 
I'm voiding the warranty, opening up this battery anyway. So I'm not too worried about it. All right. You got a little plastic pin and then you've got two little solder points on the ends of the batteries here. Now, if you're gonna do this at home, which I don't necessarily recommend ruining a perfectly good battery pack, you know, don't puncture the battery with a screwdriver when you're doing this. Don't, you know, don't short it out and explode something, all right? Because if you do- Gonna have a bad time. Use a desoldering station. That's the best way to do this. All right. Okay, got this one on the- I like that there's two little well or uh, welds. I like that there's two little solder points on each battery. I mean, you know, if one were to fail, you've got a second one. Um, obviously, from how much I'm struggling here, I mean, these are on pretty good. Uh, you don't just have big gobs of solder. You know, this was clearly done with precision equipment. So that's all good sign. Okay. All right, so we've got those separated. That should help a little bit. Again, you know, metal tools, not recommended for this type of work, but okay. Let's see. Now that we've mangled this. All right, so I can see as I'm pulling it off, see these two, let me get my pointer. See these two little wires here? Those would be uh, a temperature sensor for overload, uh, overheat protection, I assume. So that answers one of the questions I had on my first video when the drill got pretty hot. It, it does have some sort of overload protection. Um, so on the bottom of this board, let's see what we can talk about here. Uh, you know, you've got some pretty heavy duty, clean solder joints here um, on, those would actually be, I believe, uh, where your main, power contacts come in. I can't be positive. You've got your LEDs here for your battery meter. You know, not too much going on on here that I can see. Um, you know, if there was a chip underneath, you would see, you know, whatever the chip package is, which means, uh, you know, dip packages, dual inline pins. So it's like a rectangular package. You've got the square shaped package that I don't remember what that's called off the top of my head, but um, I don't see anything suggesting uh, that there's really much in the way of smart chips uh, on this board. So even though I can't get this side off, I don't think we're missing a whole lot. Hey friends, well, you know, I am not an electronics disassembly expert, but hopefully you got something out of this. We saw what types of cells were in the battery. We saw that the soldering connections and quality uh, were pretty good. So uh, be sure to hit that like button if you found this informative or at least partially entertaining as I struggled to uh, take this thing apart. And uh, I've got the premium multi-mode impact along with a five amp hour battery on the way to me. So we have testing for that coming up as well as some testing against DeWalt in Milwaukee with the mid-tier impact because not everybody needs the best of the best. Maybe you need something that's good, solid, same warranty, but you wanna save a hundred bucks. So stay tuned to the channel. Thanks again for watching and your support. God bless you. This is Jim with Philly Fixed.